What's up guys? Today my boy Bones and I are going to be talking about training deltoids or your shoulders. So we're going to start with the area of the deltoids that I feel are neglected most and that's going to be your posterior deltoid. Now the deltoid is really made up of three heads. It's still just one muscle. People talk about the front of your shoulder, the back of your shoulder, or the side of your shoulder. It's still one muscle, but there's three bundles. So that's your anterior on the front. That's going to be the lateral or middle head, and then the posterior in the rear. So posterior uh, deltoids is the one that gets neglected the most. That's the one that I see the most underdeveloped with people. And so that's why I like to start there because I start all my routines with my weakest muscle first. So starting with the posterior delt, let's, let's talk about what that muscle does. So it's going to originate right here on the back of the scapula and insert right here on the outside of your upper arm bone or your humerus. And what this part of the muscle is responsible for really is pulling your arm backwards like this. So where do most people go wrong when it comes to training their rear delts? Well, probably the most classic exercise for training rear delts is going to be a dumbbell fly, which is gonna look something like this. You're gonna come up like this. You're gonna squeeze up. And so that's pulling your arm back just like we talked about. Now here's the problem. There's two other muscles that, are, that can be more dominant that have a tendency to take over if you're not using good strict form. And that's going to be your rhomboids and your traps. So let's go back to bones here. Let's talk about that for a second. So your rhomboids are going from your spine all along the back of the scapula here. So they're here, 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 all the way down. And what they do is as they contract, they're pulling your shoulder blade in. So if you were to squeeze your shoulder blades back, that's gonna be your rhomboids. And it's also going to be your traps. Everyone thinks about your traps up here, shrugging your shoulders up. That's part of what your traps do, but they also pull your scapula back. It's called adduction of your scapula. This is where most people go wrong. As they're doing rear delts, instead of keeping their arms straight, what they have a tendency to do is, I see a lot of people keep it tight like this, and what they're doing is they're squeezing their shoulder blades together. It's easy, if you're not strict with your form, to start using your rhomboids and your traps to pull your shoulder blades back. Like I said, it's called adduction of your scapula. So you're using those more powerful muscles to get the range of motion, but you're not really targeting your rear delts. I'm gonna show you a couple exercises and the right way to do it and the wrong way to do it. So let's go to a rear delt dumbbell fly. Now, rear delt fly for dumbbells are great, but only in a partial range of motion. Here's why, as I bend over, this weight's really hanging here, can swing back and forth. I've really got no resistance here. It's not until about here that that weight starts resisting gravity. And this is where my resistance kicks in. So that's where I start my range of motion. It's a partial range and it goes from here to here, just like that. Now, here's the key. You have to go light because I don't want you squeezing here like this, like you see most people do because we're using our rhomboids and our traps. Instead of thinking about bringing your arms back, what I want you to think about is keeping your arms straight and squeezing out. So not back, but out. Now when I do this, it's kind of a little hard on my low back. I really don't like this position. So what I typically do is I'll come over to an incline bench just like this. And I'll do the exact same thing. But now I'm able to rest my torso. I'm not putting that stress on my low back. Same thing, starting my range of motion right about here. And instead of squeezing to the sides, I come forward just slightly. And that's the range of motion. Don't try to go too high because if I go too high, again, I'm retracting my shoulder blades using those rhomboids and traps. We don't want to do that. So range of motion is just right here. So that's how I do dumbbells. Notice those are really light. Those are only 20 pound dumbbells. Don't try to go heavy. Start off with 10 pounds if you want. You gotta get that form first and really feel the muscle. You have to learn to target it and take those other muscles out of the equation because sometimes those bigger muscles can really dominate that movement. So here's another couple things. You've probably seen this before. 
people come over here and they'll do a crossover. And it'll look just like this. I actually like this range of motion for a couple reasons. One, it promotes that outward range of motion like we talked about versus just up, all right? So it's out. The other thing is I have resistance through the full range of motion, whereas I only have resistance here to here with dumbbells. Here, I've got it starting crossing my body all the way across, I have resistance. Now another variation, the exact same thing, but I can do it standing instead of bent over. As I can come here, I can step back just a little bit. Same thing, squeeze out. So I've got resistance through a greater part of the range of motion. And again, squeezing out, not thinking about squeezing to the back, keeping my arms nice and straight. If you want to do these unilaterally, meaning one arm at a time, you can do that as well. I can just come over here, step far enough away so I've got resistance all the way over here and pull out, out to the side. Now notice I'm not going too high because again, if I go too high, engaging those rhomboids and traps. So this thing about going out, once your arm kind of hits parallel to the floor, that's your stopping position. So those are my tips for building your rear delts. So number one, start with rear delts first. All right, start with the weaker, smaller muscle group first, the one you want to target. Start when you're fresh and you got energy. So start there first. Two, acknowledge that with dumbbells, there's a limited range of motion. So go ahead and just train within that range of motion. Three, try not to retract your shoulder blades. Don't pull your shoulder blades back because when you do that, you're gonna be using your rear delts, or sorry, your traps and your rhomboids. And the other thing is going up a little bit higher versus just out to the side. Those are my techniques for targeting the back of your shoulders. And remember, just like everything that I preach, it's all about that mind-muscle connection. So don't worry about going heavy. Use lighter weight. Focus on good form, learning how to really feel that muscle. So that's rear delts. Next video, we're gonna jump in. We're gonna talk about the lateral or the middle head of the delts. And then we're gonna put it all together and I'll show you guys my complete uh, shoulder routine, which does include some anterior delt. I will see you guys next video.